all good. All but good looking good. at the, just to go back to day one and the sort of average placement, Scrappy was number three there with 1.4, the same as Bren and Papu with 1.4 in placement. And then Spam is 2.4. So if we just look at day one as a result, there should be a clear favorite here. And just looking at the name value, looking yeah. at the experience they have, we have two favorites here, but let's see. Shilio and Easy Power has uh, surprised us so far. Maybe they can do it again. Okay, but we are starting already with semi-final one here. This is a stacked semi-final. We are starting with the Sparrows Cup map. And we have, um, after that, we have Underworld, the LES map, the Razor Cup, Mini XXL, and surrounded off the Air France map as the last map. We have uh, four duos who have defeated their opponents in all the um, prior rounds. We have Marchion and Link, Scrappy and Spam, Shilio and Sam, and then, of course, the favorite for me in the semi-final, to say the least. Uh, Papu and Bran. We playing cup mode uh, to 100 points. Uh, point repetition is 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And both players have to win the cup mode in order to advance into the next round. So I think that Sam and Shilio step very surprisingly through here. So um, I'm not sure if they are uh, able to keep up with the pace, but look at the warm up from Sam. It was really good, uh, but he has made a mistake there in the ending. So what do you think, actually? Will Sam and Shilio have a chance here against those players? Yeah, of course they have. Of course they have a chance. But now maybe they are going, getting pressurized because now you have the finalist mode. Now you have a, a potential finalist fiesta. Maybe your teammate has qualified and it all left on you. So now the true test for uh, Sam and Shilio is coming up. Indeed, I think so as well. But maybe they perform the best under pressure. We play each map for for four rounds, and let's follow Bren here, um, one of the fastest players. And this first round, but however, he finds himself in eighth position so far. Oh, we see, I think it was, no, not Spam, it was Marchin making, no, Shilio and Sam in seventh and eighth place at the moment. So Shilio not really feeding it. Sam also a little bit further behind, point 30, 32 of a second. But Marchin, speaking of him, he has made the mistake. So this uh, didn't look too good, but look at this fight here for that first place. As we see Papu with a mistake, it is Link versus Bren here for that first 10-pointer. Bren with a tremendous amount of speed in this section. This will be in the last third corner, but Bren got it really good. Link goes super far up, and Spam will actually come closer there as well. Bren will take over that first place, Link in second. Then we have Spam and Scrappy the Duo in third and fourth place. And uh, the Duo here that has performed the worst is Sam and Shilio, only sixth and eighth position for them. Then we have Papu in 7th place, so great start there from um, Spam and Scrappy actually, 6 and 5 points. They will be certainly very happy about that, but also Bren and uh, Link with his duo partner granting themselves 14 points. Yeah, Bren starting off like he finished the day one. He uh, left Yesterday he actually played against Carl Jr. and the likes of others and he won that match, so Bren is really prepared for this event. Oh, Shilio with a mistake here, had to respawn, so I'm not sure if he is able to grant himself any sort amount of more points than one, but um, he still has to finish this round. Um, oh, as we see Link, 0.7 behind here, not a lot of speed as you can see here. So he's in first right now, Scrappy with a mistake, Papu, Marchin and Bren for that first place battle, everyone is equal, Marchin with that earlier release, Papu in first, then we have Bren in second, but Spam also makes Bren with a lot amount of speed, and what a great ending there from Papu, wow, what a round, Marchin still remains in that third place, 400 ahead of Spam, but great ending there from both Papu and Bren, but you could have just seen that Papu is an outstandingly, outstandingly good dirt player, Chilio with one point again, so only two points for him. Yeah, and looking at the favorites here, Bren and Papu, they are stepping up already from the start of this match, so they are not here to play around. They are here to advance into the grand final. Indeed. Oh, who has made the mistake? Shilio has made the first mistake again, so this looks very grim for him. So three points out of three rounds. This is not the start that you are expecting, but as you've said beforehand, maybe the pressure is kicking in. And look at this scrappy start. Are you kidding me? He's point twenty-five ahead! of the second place so scrappy is on a mission here good tube for him and he is still point two ahead as Morrison and all the other players coming a tiny tad closer but scrappy is still holding strong papu taking so many risks here but scrappy will still remain that first place then we have bren in third place so let's follow bren here for the last couple of turns it's scrappy and spam in first and second place respectively spam will hold strong and it's the duo who will get the perfect score here with 18 points in this round so this is very 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 good for them as Bren is in third place, marching in fourth, then Sam and Shilio, actually Shilio, 
granting himself three points, Papu and Link in last. So great performance there from the double S squad. This sounds wrong as well. <laughs> but looking at who is behind those, Sam and Shiloh are off to a rough start in this match, so that's something to follow. Yeah, but I mean, look at uh, Sam, he has 11 points. He is still in the mix because it is Spam who is at second place with 19 points. The only player who stepped a little bit further ahead is Bren, who has a lead of 5 points over Spram here and Shilio is six points behind his teammates so yeah it's looking really bad for them but nothing set in stone so far uh, as we maybe this is the worst map for them so this could actually be good for them that this map is played at first oh Sam taking so many risks they almost lose it loses it but had to readjust the sign so he will drop down to that last place also Marchin with a mistake and all of a sudden it's Spam really capitalizing from that wonky approaches from all the other players so Spam up to P3 Papu in uh, first place and Scrappy and Spam again with a top three placement here so great amount of points for them again in this round Link in Fourth place, but a lot of mistakes have happened there in the ending. Sh Sam and Shilio granting themselves four and three points, so not too bad for them. And Bren, only with one point. Look how cozy it is on the first page. Oh, Are you oh. kidding me? <laughs> but remember who did well on this map, because we might see this map again once we are finishing our rotation. If this match is close, we will have a full rotation and coming back to map one and potentially also map two. So. It's yeah. good to have some confidence on that map already. Indeed, but right now it was it was Bren winning the first two rounds. But then Sp Scrappy and Spam really stepped through and are right now in a total of 50 points. So great, great job there from Spam and Scrappy. I think um, that uh, Bren also did pretty good, but he crumbled there in this last couple of rounds. Okay, so Underworld. We have um, LES players here in this match. What do you think? Who will be the fastest player here on this track? Uh, of course, you should mention that uh, Bren won this. Yeah, so yeah, he of should course. be a better player. Spam was in the grand final of that cup. But I actually think that Scrappy is going to be the fastest player mm -hmm. here. This was his best map yesterday. This was the map that made him win all the matches he won. So Scrappy, even though he didn't play the LES, I think he's going to battle it out against the champion from Leon Esport 2020. And the grand final is Spam. But let's see it's already a close match so i'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the show here yeah yeah i think it will be actually very very close uh, since we have the players who have the best pace on this track as you've mentioned we have Bren winning this one scrappy being a very very fast player but of course he takes sometimes he takes too many risks but maybe this will pay off here of course this neo slide here can be or this no slide can be the decider here as we've seen in the round before that okay so, Sam and Shilio only with 23 points after the first map. So, looking grim for them. Then we have Marchin and Link with 17 points respectively in 5th and 6th place. And then Bren and Papu with 25 and 24 points. Finding themselves 1 point in total behind Spam and Scrappy who both have accumulated 25 points on the prior map. But we will go into the first round now. Let's give it a try here. As you see Papu with a very good dirt uphill. He's in the lead, but only with uh, yeah, one hundredth of a second of a Shilio, who is really putting in some effort into this track. Marchin is in second place, but uh, he has a good line here, so he will come closer towards Papu, though. Oh, but Shilio opts for a more inside approach, but oh, had to readjust his line, so Scrappy and Link will overtake him. And also Bren is here, so all of a sudden Shilio, even though he had a good start, dropping down to that P5, because it is Marchin making a mistake, but Bren and Shilio are betting it out here for that fourth place. Papu still remains in the lead. Scrappy in second place. But oh my god, what a great apple from Papu there. He gathers so much speed. Oh, this looked beautiful. Papu in first. Then we have Scrappy, Bren and Link. Battle for that second place. Link for that with that more inside approach. So not a lot of speed in this section for him. Bren in second place. Now Scrappy as well. Shilio also in the mix. So this is all in this last turn for that second place. Scrappy with more speed than Link. Bren in second place. But who will grant himself the eight points? It will be actually Bren who stays <laughs> ahead. But Scrappy, 2,000 out of Link. What a close round here. We have five players under 1010. Uh, under 110 and spam finishes in last place what a great round there from all of the players but papu really dominated this one and was 0.3 ahead of the second place yeah what a statement that was from papu he's like saying okay even though i don't play dirt as much anymore i'm still the king of dirt i'm still faster than all of you 
Yeah, this uphill, man. This oh, this was so beautiful. So let's follow Papu here for this uphill. Mm, this is juicy. <laughs> 0.05 of a lead already over Scrappy here. So that's a good time. Yeah, I'm very keen to know what's the WR here on this track. Is it a 109.2 or something, or is it a 108? Uh, but I, I'm not sure. I mean, Papu drove outstandingly on this one, on this prior round. So I can't really see uh, a 108 done here. It's a 0.1, okay. So Papu again in first place, Scrappy and Spam this time around. So Spam has uh, granted himself one point in that prior round. But this looks good for the Dutch player at the moment. As he is uh, with his teammate in that battle for that second place. But Bren is lurking in the shadow. But look at Papu. He is 0.4 ahead of Spam. Oh my god. And now it's the battle for that second place between Bren, Spam and Scrappy. Scrappy with that more inside approach. So he will crumble apart in this turn. And Spam will now overtake him. Bren takes so many risks there in this turn. With the more outside approach. So he has more speed. But Spam has the better apex there. And he will stay ahead with 3000. And Papu? Oh yeah, my god! Exactly. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this guy is mental, dude. Ay, 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 ay. So 109.35 from Papu. He is dominating this map. 44 points for him. And then Bren in second place, though. Um, Spam also granted himself some good amount of points in that prior round. Is right now in fourth place. And ahead of him, we have his teammate Scrappy, one point ahead of him with 35 points. Shidio and Sam um, didn't really have a lot of uh, a lot to say here on this track so far. 19 and 15 points for them. And also Marchin and Link, who performed outstandingly, they clocked in the finalist. Uh, oh, Link with a landing bug, I think. They clocked and Papu in also in mistake. Yeah. And uh, they clocked in the finalist mode here. So uh, they are not feeling it that much here as we see Marchin in sixth place. So uh, uh, three players have dropped down and also S Spam and uh, Sam are battling it out. So almost the same name here for the players, but the battle for the top three. We have Shilio in the mix, but it is it is Bren with a mistake. So it's between Scrappy and Shilio for that first place. Shilio with a good amount of speed here. Overtakes Scrappy in that left-hander. We have two drifts remaining. Scrappy whoa, with a good amount of speed, so he will overtake Shilio in the end. But Shilio's risking it. He is risking it, and he will stay ahead with two thousands. Are you kidding me? What is? What are those close rounds? And now Shilio is stepping up. He's last. We so need these ten points. He's almost doubling his point just with one round. So Shilio, maybe it's time to wake up, and he certainly is starting to do so. Yeah, twenty-five points for him now in sixth place. Sam is still. In 8th place, but look at Marchin and Link, they are dropping further and further behind. It is uh, 14 points between Marchin and Spam already. So we can see two clear favorite duos here in this first semi-final. Okay, going into the last round here on the LES map. Then we will go, as you can see, we will go then to the Zerato Cup map. So we could see a lot of DNFs on this map. As we see uh, Sam not having the best start here, but however his teammate, look at him, he's in this battle for that first place with Bren, Scrappy, Papu and Spam. And then we have a little bit of a gap between all those five players and Link, who's point three behind. But Bren and Papu, oh my god, that was such a beautiful line from them. But Julia wants to have a saying, but releases a little bit too much. Spam with a mistake there. Uh, goes super far outside there on the uphill. And he has come into touch with that barrier. So he won't have a saying, but his teammate is still in the mix. Papu and Bren, this could be a good round for them. They could uh, grant themselves 18 points to the sum of the team. Scrappy is attacking. Scrappy with a little bit more speed. Shilio also makes Shilio could overtake Scrappy in the ending, but it's not sufficient for him. So Papu will over let Bren overtake him. That was a very smart move because Bren will move up to 53 points. And this was a really good move there from Papu with 8 points. But like you're saying, he's starting to see a clear gap between what two duos is looking to qualify at the moment. But like you mentioned in the first match we casted, there is a finalist mode here. So nothing is set in stone yet. Yep, but I mean, it's a very, very hard lead that the players have to deal with right now already. As we will go to the next map, this map is loading so long for me because of all those <laughs> neon lights. So I had this issue in the Zerator Cup as well. And uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about it? Uh, no. I mean, I have, a, I have a good PC though. So. <laughs> all right. But who do you think is going to shine here? Is it because you have uh, four players that qualified to Strasbourg where both you and I saw the grand yeah. final live? So 
who do you think is going to be the best player here? Yeah, true that. It was such. It was one of the best gaming experiences I have, I've ever had. Um, I think it will be Bren. I mean, just uh, quoting his dominant performance in the semi-final, we all know it. It is in the history books. Bren's outstanding performance, not on this track, but on all the other Zerator maps, so he can deal with pressure. I mean, of course, he can deal with it, but I think it will be Bren batting up with uh, Scrappy here on this track. And then also Marchin will have a saying here, because he's at eight, 28 points. But it will be a little bit RNG-based as well, because we have the Zeppelin, and then this ending, which is really hard to deal with as well. What do you think? I think uh, Scrappy, I said, I said his name for map one, I'm gonna say him again. I need to hit sometime, I need to hit it sometimes. Okay, so you go with Scrappy, yes, yeah, Scrappy has the pace, he has qualified, as well as Papu, Bran and Spam. So we have four semi-finalists of the Zerator Cup uh, 2019 in here, so this is, uh, you can see in which, dire which direction it goes, so maybe we can see a rewind here in the grand final with only the Raider Cup players being in there because in the other one we have, um, actually we only have um, Carl and uh, Peck in there. Um, Glass and Dofold didn't make it and as well as Vulnera and Afi, but let's focus here on this first round. As we see, oh, Brand not with the best uh, nose dive there, so he loses time and I was speaking about Marchin and he is right now in first place. The battle is on between him and Papu, but Marchin with a good amount of speed. Now the great, uh, the, the decider comes in as we see Papu loses multiple positions there with a bad hit and also Link drops down. So he won't have a saying. Oh, Bran goes for the risk and Marchin as well. Marchin had to release him in there, but this will be on the ending. Bran with an outstanding the ending and he will clock in a 44.06. Are you kidding me? Marchin, <laughs> where, where are died? you? Yeah, he died. He hit the finish. Oh, no. Yeah, I was just spectating Bran because he had more speed. <laughs> that is this map. Remember, this was a DNF map from uh, the quarterfinals. Let's see. Now already one DNF. Yeah, one DNF plus one. And let's go to the next round here. As we see Bren with 63 points in the lead, followed up by his teammate Papu with 59 points. Then we have Scrappy with 57 points. Scram with four, Spam with 47. And Sam, on the other hand, is in seventh place, place ahead of Link. One point and equal with the teammate of Link. Okay, so Spam off to a good start. This time around overtakes Bran here, but Bran with a good approach here as well. So this will be all in the ending again. Let's take how many rest risks Bran will take here as we see a Spam hitting the fin there. So we've dropped down to P4, but still a good placement for the Dutch player. Oh, but March and look at this approach and Spam will actually give us a good overview. Who will it be? It will be Bran in first, Scrappy in second. But, oh my god, 43.67? <laughs> uh, okay. Decent level. Okay. <laughs> okay, Bren, this is a good time. <laughs> you can calm down now. But yeah, Bren and Scrappy are in first and second. And Papu also with 65 points here. But 14 points between Papu and Spam. And now, oh, Spam with the nose slide. So we won't have a saying here in this round and also it is um who is it actually it is marchin also has, who has made a mistake so let's go a little bit further ahead bren scrappy and papu are battling it out for the top three again oh as scrappy gets a good flip there as well as bren so papu drops a little bit behind we have shilio also in the mix so this could be either Ooh, way but scrappy, scrappy uh, oh no, that was a flip for him and this will be good for Shilio, so he will grant himself at least 6 points if he's able to make that finish. Bren and Papu looking strong, perfect round for them if they are able to hit that finish. Shilio with a mistake, no! This is unfortunate for him, Spam and Sam will overtake him and Shilio is in 5th place, but he will be able to finish, but only in 7th place. Oh no, this is bad news for him. Marchin was not able to finish, but his teammate Sam Granted himself some points and Marchin and Link in 7th and 8th place. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's time to step up. But look at that. You can get so good points even though you are 3 seconds behind on this map. This map is all over the place. Yeah, this map is all over the place. And uh, I was speaking about RNG. Maybe it's the wrong terminology. But this Zeppelin is really random to uh, deal with. If you have played this track on your own. As we can see, Bran with a... Um, 
with a mistake and she also marched him with a mistake. So this is uh, not uh, looking too good here for them as we see a lot of mistakes in this round. Again as Scrappy is stumbling again. Papu is risking it for that first base. B good amount of speed for him. Scrappy is dropping down to P2 so who takes more risk? Is this Papu or is Scrappy? Let's follow Scrappy here. Who has more speed than Papu? Let's follow Papu. Where is Ooh. he? Oh Papu is not able to make the jump. No! And Spam is in second. Link in third. And who's the fourth place? Wait, w uh, um, who got fourth? It is March actually, with eight seconds behind in fourth place. Yeah, this match, this is the <laughs> definition of a Saturday Trackmania Cup. That's oh, why yeah, I love yeah. it. That's some ha why some hate it, but now it's done with this map. And once again, there are two duels that sticks out, and I hope we see them in the grand final. But maybe a sick combat kill like the Swearis Cup, like the Saturday Trackmania Cup quarterfinals. That both got nominated for match of the year, so yeah. it's not over yet. And speaking of this quarterfinal that was uh, the winner, we have Insane in the chat, and I think he still has nightmares from that. Oh man, I can't, dude, I, I can't comprehend that what happened there. This was such a close round, but we are done with the, the, the Raider map, and now it will be Mini XXL. So I still feel so sorry for you, Insane. I'm sorry to to mention that, but it was such a close round, and yeah, this is so so sad to see. But yeah, we go to the mini XXL map now from Softy or from Nadeo Labs. Um, Papu is in the lead here in this warm up. So, what do you think? Will we see some other player by the name of Marchin, maybe, who played pretty, pretty good here on uh, on this quarterfinal, um, making the comeback? Yeah, now you have the top four at the moment in the match also play the Jack Mania Grand League. But like I mentioned, Marchin is the fifth player from the Jack Mania Grand League. So, uh, he needs to step it up. This is a map that he needs to use. Sadly for him, he are playing against four other Jack Mania Grand League players, and it's not like there are some bad Jack Mania Grand League players. Scrappy finishing a second in that uh, Jack Mania Grand League. Uh, Papu finishing fourth, Spam fifth. Yeah. So you name it. This is a stacked field on this particular map because they have trained this so much. Oh, look how close this is! But Marchin actually winning the warm up here, but only ever so slightly seven thousands between them. <laughs> Scrappy in third, and Sam and Shilio are actually also uh, surviving the warm-up though. So maybe they can make something happen as well. I'm uh, interested to see that as Eric is gambling again. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Where are we at at the sub goal? Are we soon at 50 or what? Yeah, I'm at 46. Oh boy. 46. At so 50 and he will gamble all. <laughs> <laughs> what a sellout, man. Okay, but going into the next round here, we have uh, Papu in the lead. Oh, good turn there from him. And then it is uh, Scrappy a little bit further behind. But what a great line there from Scrappy. Look at that. He is going over into that lead. He wants to show who is the boss in the ring here. And also Spam is in the mix. So what a great approach there from all of the players. But Papu, wh what is this back and forth here between all of those three players? They're really shining through. Spam Scrappy and Papu, but now Papu will maybe use his dirt skills. He has a tiny tad more speed than uh, Scrappy in this section, but they will actually stay ahead. So it's the duo here. Spam and Scrappy. Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, Spam and Scrappy in um, first place, and Papu actually overtakes them. And you have to do gamble all, Eric, because someone gifted uh, five subs. I <laughs> okay. will do it after the match. Let's focus okay. on the match. At Let's the focus on the match. We have a Sick fight here for that first place. It is Spam with not the best amount of speed. Papu is in the lead, but Spam and Scrappy with a different approach. Papu takes not the most, most best amount of speed here in this section, and it will be Scrappy who will overtake Papu. No, it's not enough. And Papu with a 113.36. Okay. <laughs> okay. But look at the top three. There are the track main and ground league players that perform well on this map, not surprisingly, but what a battle this map is going to have. Oh my god, what was that? So Scrappy and Papu with 38, uh, 86 and 86 points respectively. Then we have Ren one point behind and Spam with 70 points. Look at this gap, Spam is just alone there. He's 21 points out of the fifth place and 15 points ahead of uh, behind Ren and 16 points behind uh, the leader here. So Spam is uh, the lone wolf at the moment. Okay, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this round. Shilio and Scrappy are in 6th and 7th place. Uh, Sam is 8 seconds behind. So maybe he played golf with friends there at the start. As you see the fight here between Papu and Marchin. 
And I was um, mentioning Marchin that he can perform here on this map. And Marchin is right now battling it out here for that first place. Let's follow him here for that round as he is now in the lead. Great approach there from Marchin. He's risking it. 0.5 ahead of his PB and also 0 0.04, 0 0.03 ahead of Papu. So not his PB, his uh, prior round set. But what a fight here. It will be all in this identity in the ending as we see Papu with a tiny tad more speed but only a little bit. So it is that equal here in the ending. Marchin with a good approach as we've seen Papu hitting the hole. But Spam and Bran oh, are in the mix. Spam jumps so far to the right but still remains in that second place. Marchin with another sub 114. Bran also in third place. And then we have Papu, Link, Scrappy and Shilio. And also Sam finishing. Just remember, this map is never over until we finish. We all yep. remember uh, Riolo versus Tween on this map. This is, oh. can be a really heartbreaking map. And so far, this end is uh, living up to expectations, at least with being close. Indeed, indeed. And we have 91 points for both Bren and Papu. So one of them could grant himself the finest mode. Scrappy could uh, grant himself the slap in the face with 99 points. And then the other players are so far behind. And look at this start there from the TMGL players. Papu, Bren, Spam, Scrappy and Marchin is your top four at the moment. But Marchin is lacking the pace. He's 0.25 behind the rest of the pack. Yes, Bren takes so many risks, overtakes the lead now. What is this for a crazy round? What the pace? What is the pace on this round? We can see Papu in the lead. But look at this. It's 0.04. 0.04 of a second between all of those four players going to that last part of the track. It is that equal here, but Scrappy is in fourth place. But the top three battle is going on here between Papu, Spam and Bran as Spam has the upper hand and Papu dropped behind. So it is Scrappy still in the mix here. Bran has accumulated a lead of 0.13 of a second in this section. And this will be all in this identity again. All again, let's follow Papu. Here Bran is approaching it at first. Papu with the inside approach. And Papu is in the lead. Are you kidding me? Papu with a great identity, but Bran with more speed. And Papu and Bran are winning it. What was this ending from Papu? Are you kidding me? Yeah, but look at that duo, though. They are making a statement here. They they show why they collected the most amount of points of any duo on the day one. They collected 36,284 points on day one. And now Papu is a finalist. Yeah, Papu is a finalist. Bren with a slap in the face. 99 points for him. Scrappy at 95 points. And also Spam has granted himself a lot of points in the prior round. Oh, who, who has made a mistake? It is actually Link making a mistake. And also Spam. So not looking too good for both of those players. As Scrappy is right now in first. He wants to deny Papu the finest mode. But Papu is only in sixth place in this round. He's 0.7 behind. Also very wonky approach there from him. Didn't get the best line throughout this section. So he's one second behind the leader. He is still Scrappy, but Scrappy is getting chased down by Bren, who's point two behind Shilio, also in the mix. Ooh, good approach there from him. From Shilio. So let's follow him. He's at 52 points. So nothing is set in stone until it's over, of course. So Shilio overtaking that second place, but not granting himself a lot of speed on this uh, hairpin there. So Scrappy still remains in that lead, point, point 35. But this identity is so crazy that everything will happen or can happen, as you've mentioned beforehand already. Uh, this ending there between uh, between Riolu and Tween. But Scrappy has to just survive it here. He doesn't need to risk it. But we see Shilio going for the attack. But he has not a lot of speed. So it will be Scrappy in first. Brandon second. And Shilio also granting himself a lot of points in third place. Marchin in fourth. And his teammate from Shilio is in fifth place. So great performance there from him. Papu with a DNF. But he can't deny points if he is in last place. Triple finalists and now both of Papu and Bren from the same duo are finalists. Yep. Scra Scrappy is finalist, but also Spam is the closest one to being a finalist. So there are two duos that really stick out at the moment. So let's see if they can finish it off fast or if the other duos will have a chance to catch up and collect points while they are still stuck in finalist mode. Yeah, and of course both of the players have to win it. So players like March and Shilio and also Link will come closer and closer. And we have the last map of this rotation. We have a map by Voucher. We have the Air France map. And I'm keen to see who will perform the best here. Uh, we have players who have qualified, but uh, by the name of Spam, who didn't attend at this tournament. Um, what do you think? Who will perform the best here? Well, if you just look at who did the best at the Air France Cup, even though that uh, has an own asterisk to it because yeah. they played on a plane, but Papu placed yep. second in that cup, so he qualified. Like you said, Spam qualified, so I think those two are the most notable names here, but Scrappy as well, uh, and of course, 
Whenever, whenever there is a Trackmania map and you have a guy like Brent, you should always do Casper. <laughs> when you have Trackmania and a map, it is Brent playing Brent. good. Hello. <laughs> Hello. But yeah, I'm, I'm very, very curious to see if uh, if Sam and Shilio, maybe this is their best map. Because this map could sit, fit into their playing style. As we see Shilio actually finishing the warm-up, but we've seen a lot of trolls there jumping to the left and to the right. But they can also make something happen. They need to deny Brent, Scrappy and Papu the finalist attempt. Spam is 14 points away, so two good rounds for him, and he's also finalist. Marchen is four victories away, so 39 points for him, but everything can happen in this finalist mode. As we go into the first round just now, Air France Cup map is coming up, the fifth map here of this rotation. If this map um, has ended, we will go to the first map again, which is the Sparrows Cup map. Okay, so good start for all of the players. Sam finds himself a little bit further behind, not the most amount of speed for him in this section. Point 17 behind, but good approach here from him. Ooh, jumps super low though, so he not, he's not getting that smooth landing in the slope. And Scrappy also with this stumble there, but he was able to stay ahead, uh, to stabilize his car, but he has made a mistake there. So not looking too good for him in this round, as we see Bren actually in first place. And he could use his first finest attempt here. Let's follow Bren and Papu. Who will take it? Maybe Bren uh, lets Papu overtake him, but I don't think so. Or will it actually be like that? No, Bren will clock in that first finest attempt uh, to his advantage. Bren will take it. Bren is through, but he still needs to rely on his, on his teammate to step through as well. Spam collecting 6 points, so he's up to 92 points now. Whenever there is a map in Trackman and you have Bren on the server, look after him and what did he do? He's the first player to qualify himself to the next round. Yeah, and I think that's a deserved uh, victory here from him. He played outstandingly good, but also Papu. I, I can't really tell who was better from both of them. It's a very even duo, if I can say so. You don't have a player that really shines out. Both of them are just playing outstanding, as we can see Shilio with the first mistake. And the times in the prior round were also very, very good. Oh, Papu, look at him go. Very good jump there from him. And also Marchin and Link. So the duo that we have not seen too much here on this semi-final are in the mix as Marchin almost came into, come into touch with the barrier there. But it's still Papu in the lead and he could use his second finest attempt. I mean, he was theoretically first behind his teammate in this other round, but it is Papu who is in first place, jumps super far to the right, so he's saving it. And what a time is that? Are you kidding me? A 47.64 to win it here. What a great performance from Papu and Bran. Deserved qualification for them and great time there from Papu. Yeah, they were really stepping up to being the best duo here. Even though they were challenged by Scrappy, Spam was a little bit behind. But like you said, Bren and Papu, they are so equal. Day one, they had the same average of placement. Now they get finalists together. Bren wins round one, then uh, Papu wins round two. Really deserved win here. Yeah, and actually Spam granted himself the second place, so he's up into finalist mode. This is also very interesting to see. And now it is Scrappy and Spam, the next duo who is in uh, finalist mode. March and Chilio and Link and Sam have to deny them, but look how far behind they are. They are third, at least 31 points away of granting themselves the finalist mode. And they need to deny Spam and Scrappy the victory here. As we see Spam, very good turn there from him. Spam could use his first finest attempt. Are you kidding me? Scrappy is behind him. So maybe we can see a team play here coming in as Spam has a very good line here over the grass section. But Link is also there to deny him. But it will be Spam if he survives the jump who will grant himself the victory here. So Spam is through as well. Link in second place and Spam uses his first finest attempt. Great, great performance here in this one with another 0.7x time. Great round there from Spam. Impressive to see that. Yeah, there you can see what the, the finalist mode does, even though Spam was behind his team, it's Scrappy overall the whole match. Uh, Scrappy is struggling to finish it off, Spam gets finalist, immediately wins the next round and then he's through. Now, yeah. let's see, will Scrappy crumble or will he finish it off and already we can call it a GG. Yeah, that's the question we this all that that all evoked in our hats that evoked in our hats in this part. We can see Marchin 73 points. So Scrappy has plenty of finest attempts to work with, but he is looking strong. He is in first place as long as alongside with Link here. Link not with the best approach here as he goes for the speed, but Scrappy is in first, so this could be the early GG. Only two turns are remaining for Scrappy and this end jump, and this looks really good for Scrappy here, unless he won't choke the end. Er, Link with a mistake, and let's follow Scrappy here. Scrappy with a great performance, great performance from both of the dudes, and Scrappy, what a time is this, a 47.74 GG. What a great performance, really dominant performance from the dudes, and deserved victory for Spam and Scrappy here. GG.
Yeah, and you can normally imagine how dominant this performance is because this format, as you said, this is normally a format that is going to be a finalist fiesta. But now you have a really clear cut about the top four players, and luckily those top four players are in two uh, different duels, so it's uh, equal. And uh, hopefully we'll have a rematch in the grand final. But I would name uh, Brendan Papu as a favorite going into yep. that grand final over Spam and Scrap. 